Hello all. In the previous session, we had discussed about the conversion of a decimal number into binary number. In the today's session, we are going to discuss about the conversion of decimal number into octal number system and hexadecimal number system respectively. But before discussing about how to convert a decimal number into hexadecimal number, first of all we will discuss about the conversion of decimal number into octal number. But if you remember the way or the method by which we had converted a decimal number into a binary number, the method here is very much similar. In the previous method, I mean the conversion of a decimal number into binary number, what we had did? We had divided the integer part by 2 and we had multiplied the fractional part by 2. Why we had divided a decimal number by 2 for an integer part and why we had multiplied a decimal number by 2 in a fractional part. The reason behind this is whenever we are going to convert a decimal number into a binary number, the base value of a binary number is 2. Hence, we are going to divide or multiply a decimal number by 2. Similarly, whenever we are going to convert a decimal number into an octal number, we are going to divide the integer part of a decimal number by 8 and multiply the fractional part of a decimal number by 8. The reason behind this is the same because whenever you are going to convert a decimal number into octal number, the base value of octal is 8. You all know the basis value. Fine. So, the base value of octal number is 8. So, that is why a decimal number whenever to be converted into octal number, it has to be divided or multiplied by 8. So, let us see an example of conversion of decimal number into octal number. So, here is the first example. Example is 50.20. So, this is a decimal number base 10. We are going to convert it into octal. Conversion of a decimal number into octal number. So, the number given is in a decimal and to be converted into octal. Let us see the solution I have already told you. Whenever we are going to convert a decimal number into either binary or octal or hexadecimal, we are going to solve this example in the two parts. That is, we are going to convert this given example or separate this given example into the integer part and fractional part respectively and then we are going to solve it. So here, first we are going to solve for integer part. So, what is integer part here? The integer part here is 50. What we are going to do? We are going to divide we are going to divide this 50 by 8 and note down the remainder here. So, let us begin. If we divide the number 50 by 8, let us see what would be the new quotient and remainder. So, 8 6 is 48, remainder will be 2, new quotient is 6, remainder is 2. So, I will write 2 here. Next, again divide 6 by 8. So, can we divide 6 by 8? Of course not, because the number 6 is smaller than 8. So, we cannot divide 6 by 8. Hence, we should stop the solution here and this will be written in the final remainder. While noting down the answer, we are going to write it from bottom to top. The next part is fractional part. So, what is fractional part in the given question? It is point 20. So, point 20. Now, we are going to multiply it with 8. So, point 20 into 8, we get 1.60. Note down this digit which is on the left hand side of a decimal point here. So, 1. Carry forward the remaining part of the result and again multiply it with 8. So, again I write 4 here, 
carry forward the remaining part of this with multiply it again we get 6.40 6 should be written here 0.40 into 8 3.20 3 to be written here. On the fractional side, note down the result from top to bottom. So what would be the final answer here? The final answer here will be 50.20 will be is equal to 50 62.20 point point top to bottom in octal. I hope you have understood this example. It is very easy. Whenever you want to convert a decimal number into octal number, divide the integer part by 8, keep noting down the quotients and remainders respectively, and multiply the fractional part by 8, and always note down the integer side on here. Fine? So this is how we can convert any given decimal number into octal. So this was an example of conversion of decimal number into octal number. Now, let us solve a new example or let us see a new example of conversion of decimal number into hexadecimal number. Now, what is the base value of hexadecimal number? The base value of hexadecimal number is 16. So, let me keep the question same. The only thing is convert the decimal into hexadecimal number. Now what we need to do? Instead of dividing it with the 8, now always we are going to divide it with 16. So, Let us solve this example. To convert a decimal number into hexadecimal number, the integer part, that is 50, should be divided by 16. So 16 threes are 48, remainder remains 2. So I write the quotient here and remainder on the remainder column. Again divide the new quotient by 16, but 3 cannot be divided by 16, hence it is the final remainder and the answer remains 32. Let us solve here. To convert a decimal number into hexadecimal, multiply the fractional part by 16, the base value of hexadecimal number. Fine. So, Note down the integer number here. So if I keep it solving, if I keep it solving, always the answer remain same. So I'll stop here. No need to solve further because this is endless. Okay. So what will be the final answer then? The final answer here will be 32. Bottom to top approach. 32 point on the integer section. It is triple B. And this is hexadecimal. So this is how we can convert a decimal number into octal and hexadecimal respectively. I hope you have understood both the example.